Coming up on your Blazer Sports Report, we'll take a look at the VSU Red Hots, men's tennis, and golf. Then we get an inside look at women's tennis, baseball, and Lady Blazers softball this season. Your Blazer Sports Report starts now. Welcome to the Blazer Sports Report. I'm Bridget Muckle. And I'm Eric Etheridge. The Valdosta State Red Hots have been busy this semester getting ready for their biggest competition of the year. Blazer Sports Reporter Courtney Perry was able to catch up with the dance team to find out how they have been preparing for their competition at Nationals. The Valdosta State Red Hots are fired up and ready for the 2015 Nationals competition after a long season of practices and workouts. The team's dedication has been on point, consisting of practices five days out of the week and countless workouts in between. Needless to say, the Red Hots sacrifice a lot during national season, but they believe it to be worthwhile as this year's team has had more consistent talent and motivation to work harder. Lexi Curls, a sophomore transfer student, believes that many dancers come from out of the state to dance for the Red Hots due to their impressive reputation. There have been numerous injuries on the team this season, but the Red Hots plan to work through the hard times to come out on top. The team agrees that this is the strongest they've ever been as a whole, and the bond they all share is unbreakable. We wish the Red Hots a victorious and safe trip as they head to nationals. Thanks, Courtney. We wish the Red Hots the best of luck as they compete for another national championship ring. The Blazers golf team is preparing for their upcoming tournament in Tunica, Mississippi. We were able to catch up with senior golfer John Fordham on how the team is preparing for their tournament. Reporter Lanika Alexander has more. VSU men's golf team is gearing up and training hard for their up-and-coming GSC championship match against Tunick, Mississippi. I spoke with senior John Fordham on how the team practices and qualifies for the championship. To prepare for the conference championship, I mean, you always practice hard, but right now there's kind of a sense of urgency um, in the region. We play in a super regional, which is how you qualify to get the nationals. and. You have to finish in the top 10 in your region to get into the uh, Super Regional. So right now we're in 10th, but there's another conference that gets an automatic bid. So we're not sure if they're going to accept the bid. They didn't last year, and we hope, we're hoping they don't this year. But if we win conference, then that's an automatic bid into regionals, which is obviously what we want to do. The golf team is dedicated and motivated, practicing nearly seven days a week in preparation for this upcoming championship. With your Blazer Sports Report, I'm Lanika Alexander. Thanks, Lanika. Tee off for the Gulf South Conference Championship will start in the near future. We wish them the best of luck as they continue their journey to a possible championship. Although the women's tennis team is small in numbers, they, they have still managed to be very competitive this season. The team is only playing with five players, which is forcing them to forfeit two matches in every game. Although they are coming off back-to-back -back tough losses against Georgia Gwinnett College and Columbus State, the Lady Blazers are optimistic heading into the final matches of the season. They are currently preparing for upcoming matchups with the number one ranked team in the country, Armstrong State, along with West Alabama and St. Leo. The team has three home matches remaining, so make sure to go out and support the team at the VSU Tennis Courts. The Valdosta State men's tennis team is working on finishing their 2015 regular season. Blazer sports reporter Chris Greco has more on what the team is working on to improve their play. The Valdosta State men's tennis team has just come out of a five-day tournament in Pensacola, Florida. Yeah, we had a good weekend last weekend with a good match against the White Pacific, the one nation, which we lost, but then we played Concordia and won 5-4 was a huge win for us and now we are looking forward 
um, for four home games in a row and that's the final part of the season when uh, um, go strong and then go into the conference tournament in April. Though the team did well, they are still working to improve certain aspects of play. According to graduate assistant Brian Rasmussen, the team is working on minimizing action during play. He says this will help the players recover faster through their matches as well as build stamina. The team will take these improvements to Savannah when they take on Armstrong Atlantic in a non-GSC matchup. With your Blazer Sports Report, I'm Chris Graco. Thanks, Chris. We wish them the best of luck as they continue on in their 2015 season. Blazers baseball won two of three in a Gulf South Conference series against the Alabama Huntsville Chargers. Reporter Brandy Moore has more. The week before the Alabama Huntsville Chargers series took place, we took a look at the Blazers practice. Coach Gilliams ran some tagging, catching, batting, and pitching drills to name a few. The Blazers, who hold the fifth seed in GSC, won two out of three in the series. The first round of the series resulted in a win for the Blazers 12 to 10. The game was scoreless up until the third inning. The second round was cut short due to inclement weather. The Blazers started with six runs in the first inning, but the Chargers, who hold the second seed in GSC, more than doubled the lead with 13 runs. The game was picked up the next day, resulting in a win for the Chargers of 13 to 10. The last round was a Blazer win of six to four. With your Blazer Sports Report, I'm Brandy Moore. The Blazers have a few more games left to play, which means more opportunities to improve their standing in the conference. We wish them the best of luck as they continue their journey into the postseason. The end of the regular season is quickly approaching, and the Lady Blazers softball team continues their impressive season. PD Powers has more. The Valdosta State softball team is chasing another national championship this season, and the team has played great so far. After losing in the national championship game last season, the team is hungrier than ever, and that has shown in their play. The team had a 26-game win streak heading into their weekend series with Alabama Huntsville before dropping two out of the three to the Chargers. Even after dropping those two games, the Lady Blazers still own one of the best records in the Gold South Conference and one of the best records overall in the country. A lot of the Lady Blazers' success so far this season can be attributed to the pitching staff, as Caitlin Calhoun, Hunter Elling, and Macy Fletcher have become one of the most dominant staffs in the country. Calhoun has thrown four no-hitters this season with an ERA under two, while Elling has one no-hitter and is undefeated on the season. At the plate, the Lady Blazers have managed to pick up the slack for injured Courtney Albritton with timely hitting with runners in scoring position. Junior Jamie Phillips and Kylie Russell have led the way along with senior Fran Johnson who are all currently hitting over 330. Freshman Brandy Morgan has also been a pleasant surprise this season, already winning the Gold South Conference Freshman of the Week four times. As the season winds down, the Lady Blazers have eight home games remaining and will look to continue their near-perfect record at home. Both the GSC and national tournaments are rapidly approaching, so make sure to go out and support the team in their quest to bring home a national championship. With your Blazer Sports Report, I'm PD Powers. Thanks, Petey. The softball team has some exciting home matchups against West Georgia, Albany State, and Mississippi College in the next few weeks. So make sure to come out and support the team at Stills Diamond. Well, that wraps up our show for today. I'm Bridget Muckle. And I'm Eric Etheridge. Be sure to come out and show your support for your Valdosta State Athletics. Go, Go Blazers! Blazers.